Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Redmi Note 11 and I was getting a request to make a video tutorial video flashing the latest release of the Evolution X ROM on the Redmi Note 11. So this is a good ROM, very good ROM. I was using this ROM and I could not find any bugs and uh, the speed is so good performance is very good all stuff and things and options and features are working with the ROM this ROM is coming device uh, default device certified this ROM is coming default safety net pass there is no issue with the safety net there is no issue with the device certified the banking application is running perfectly any banking application right now I have got two banking application which is very strict application cannot run if, if the device is rooted but uh, on this ROM these two applications are working rest all the applications downloaded from the Google Play Store because the Google Play Store is also updated with the ROM and uh, if you ask me about the speed yes the speed is so good the ROM is so good I'm pretty sure that those who like to have AOSP ROM they are going to love this ROM now about the fingerprint scanner yes the fingerprint scanner is working absolutely Absolutely perfect and also the face unlocking is also working perfectly with this ROM I didn't find a single bug using this ROM and I didn't find a single lag using this ROM evolution X ROM always come with the customization there is a big and there is a bunch of app customization you can do in this ROM after flashing it you will see and you will find that uh, there are a big list provided and available in this ROM that you can modify your ROM and then you can customize your ROM the way you like. The calling is working, the Bluetooth is working and SMS is working, device certified, safety net pass, what else you like to have. About the camera application, yes the AOSP camera application is coming by default and the rear camera, the front camera working very good. This ROM is coming with the basic call recorder, if you want to use you can just turn it on and this basic call recorder will record all your incoming and outgoing calls automatically the ROM is very good I really like the ROM on my Redmi Note 11 because the battery life is so good coming with this ROM those who like to have this uh, evolution X EOSP ROM on the Redmi Note 11 watch the further video and uh, you need to unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone do not forget to like the video if you are uh, getting help from, from my videos do not forget to subscribe my channel click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much watch the further video how to flash the rom so links are provided in my video description this is the evolution x rom this is an official rom because the official is not yet releasing for the redmi note 11 the version is 9.5 we also need to download the platform tools and the twrp well you need to flash this evolution x rom with the provided particular this recovery i flash this rom with other recovery the ROM get flash but uh, the, uh, it was not booting the mobile phone was stuck on the boot loop so try to flash this ROM with this particular recovery right now uh, links are provided you just need to click the link and download these three files so first of all extract the platform tools then copy the recovery file from the downloaded folder and open the extracted folder of the platform tools paste the recovery over here then uh, right click on cmd and left click on run as administrator click yes on next window the command window will open now moving towards the mobile phone you need to unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone if you are not having any unlock bootloader this rom will not get flash and you need to save all the internal storage data this uh, form uh, this uh, rom flashing or any custom rom flashing will format everything check the battery must be charged around 30 to 40 or 50 percent and your mobile phone must be updated once to hyper os uh, in case if you have any custom rom but before custom rom your mobile phone was all on uh, 
on hyper os so the evolution rom will get flash and will get boot but remember if you are having me y14 i have no idea this rom will boot on the me y14 or not you need to go to security and privacy you need to uh, uh, turn off the screen lock by like if you are having hyper os just turn off the screen lock and if you are having uh, aosp rom then select swipe to turn off the screen lock and then you need to sync your google account then must remove it to avoid any issues later now you can simply power off the mobile phone check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer power, mobile phone must be power off press and hold the volume down key then connect the cable with the mobile phone the mobile phone will boot into fast boot mode immediately release the volume down key now coming towards the computer screen uh, the command window already open i will tap the command to check my mobile phone is connected properly or not fast boot space devices yes my mobile phone is connected now i will flash the recovery i will tap the command fast boot space flash space boot space will go to my ext uh, extracted folder of the blade farm tools and i will click on this and then i will press f2 i will just copy the file name twrp 3.7.0 from here then we'll go back to my command window and i will press Control v the name will get appear on the command window then the type dot img and press enter key the flashing of recovery will get start done reboot the mobile phone by typing the command fast boot space reboot and then immediately press and hold the volume up key before me logo appears just wait the mobile phone will boot into twrp release the volume up key now close the command window and i will go back to my downloaded folder maybe maybe the internal storage will get encrypted i will tap the install button to see this i cannot see the folders and the file name over here so the storage is get encrypted we need to decrypt the storage first i will tap wipe then i will tap format data i will type y e s and then i will tap here when done then go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery okay the recovery got back and uh, the storage is also appears on the computer screen but still the internal storage is not properly decrypt so we have to do one more thing i will uh, just do something i will uh, make the screen time out to maximum and i will low the brightness little bit so we can see the things clearly now tab advanced then tab file manager then tab data folder and then ta tab here and tap open terminal here then type m k d i r space m e d i a we have to create a media folder folder with the name of media then tap here done then go back to main screen tap mount then tap disable mtp then tap, uh, tap enable mtp and we will get the internal storage on the computer screen with a proper form yes go back to downloaded folder i will go back on my mobile phone screen to main screen then i will copy the uh, the rom file from the downloaded folder and i will paste the rom file on the internal storage of my mobile phone okay i got the file on my internal storage i am done from the computer disconnect the cable first from the mobile phone and then tap install then tap up level then tap the data folder and tap media folder you will see the rom file over here tap to select the rom file and then tap uh, put a tick sign on automatically reflash the twrb after flashing the rom if you did not put a tick sign over here the rom will get flash but the evolution x recovery will also get flash with the rom so i will put a tick sign to i need to have a twrb recovery then swipe to start flashing so it will take a time now we have to wait here flashing got completed i will go back then i will tap y then i will tap format data type y e s tap here then reboot tap reboot system 
the mobile phone will stay for a while on this Mi logo and then soon will start booting to the Evolution X ROM. So first boot completed, it didn't took that much time. Complete the setup screen. Flashing went very well. Things went very well and very smooth. I got the Evolution X ROM, the latest version, version 9.5, having 1st October 2024 security update. And you can see the build number and the maintainer name. Well, do not forget to like the video and keep watching my videos. We'll see you in my next video. Take a good care of yourself. Goodbye.